To be able to get on a horse is a challenge alone, but to be able to get on it and then play polo and on a stage is a remarkable thing. We've got a lot of guys who've had, you know, spinal trauma and, you know, sort of post-traumatic stress and all the rest of it. And, you know, quite often what you can't see is sometimes more damaging than, than what you can. It's exceptionally important as a serviceman to support Health for Heroes who do so much good work for, you know, for charities. Uh, my name is Ange Mason Matthews. Um, I'm a veteran. I served for 13 years in the Royal Navy as an intelligence officer. When you're fit and able, you, you can you can do all those sort of adrenaline-filled sports. Post-injury, it, it just isn't possible. Polo, because it's it's quite short and sharp, you can sort of hold it together for that small amount of time. And also because there's so much twisting and turning, it's actually really great rehab. and I'm one of the para-injured players that plays in the Heroes Cup. The polo today has just been absolutely awesome. The support of the crowd and the other players. Polo has been really helpful to get back into competitive sport at a level that I never ever thought possible. I'm playing in matches against able-bodied people now and actually when you're on the horse it doesn't make any difference. I just hope that today makes people realise that just because they're injured it doesn't mean that they can't do new things and push themselves beyond what, whatever they thought possible. If someone had told me while I was laid in my hospital bed that five and a bit years later I, I would be chasing around a polo pitch on a pony, I, I would have said, really? <laughs> I'm hoping that the Heroes Cup will, will raise awareness that there is life beyond injury. It's a wonderful setting wonderful scenery and there's a lot of history here.